Okay, welcome back to Second Run Gaming. I'm Austin, and we are here yet again with Dragon Age Origins. We just finished the Broken Circle quest line. Uh, the mages will be joining us, which is awesome. Anytime I do a big quest line like this, even though you don't have to, I like to go back to camp just to kind of recoup, especially since it's like a big storyline. It's one of the four main spots. Light. How will you end it? Oh, okay, we lost some approval points from Sten in uh, the circle, like a good amount actually. So it seems like he's curious about what we're even doing. We have to fight the Archdemon. Is that all? It is surrounded by an ocean of darkspawn. How will you reach it? If you reach it, how will you slay it? You say you are a Grey Warden. I have heard stories of this order. What have you heard? Great strategists and peerless warriors. That is what we hear of the Wardens. So far, I am not impressed. Ouch. What do you think you could do better? He's going to say yes to that. I'm new. That's an excuse, though. I'm going to challenge him. Yes. Hey, so we got some approval back. Let's talk to some of the more amiable members of our camp. See how Alistair's doing. What do you need? Ask away. I forget if we've asked some of these before. I don't think we did, though. How did he become a Grey Warden? Same way you did. You drink some blood, you choke on it, and pass out. You haven't forgotten already, have you? I meant before that. Let's see. I was in the Chantry before. I trained for many years to become a Templar, in fact. That's where I learned most of my skills. So you mentioned before. It's really for the best. I'm not exactly the Chantry type, if you haven't noticed. I don't think I would have made a very good Templar. The Grand Cleric didn't want to let me go. Duncan was forced to conscript me, actually, and was she ever furious when he did? I thought she was going to have us both arrested. I was lucky. Why did the Grand Cleric want to keep you? I wondered that myself. It's not as if she valued me highly. I think she just didn't want to give anything to the Grey Wardens, is all. The Chantry didn't lose much. And I think I can do more fighting the Blight anyhow, rather than sitting in a temple somewhere. I'll always be thankful to Duncan for recruiting me. If it hadn't been for him, you know, I would never... I wouldn't have. Oh boy. He was a good man. He was. A good man who didn't deserve his fate that much I'm sure of. Come on, let's go. I think I'm done talking. Fair enough, Alistair. Fair enough. Well, our boy Spike is barking a lot. What's up, bud? I once heard a really old legend about how the hound warriors in the days of the old tribes would feed their Mabari the flesh of the vanquished. Well, that's what I heard anyway. It would sometimes be human flesh. <laughs> Oh, like you can tell the difference. For you know, maybe you've already been fed something. Someone. Alistair. Don't listen to Alistair, he's full of rubbish. Hey! It's true. Alright, Liliana has a hanging. Yes. Well, here I am. What would someone like you be doing in Lothering's Chantry? What is meant by someone like me? Hmm. Got a couple options here. Sanctimonious, preachy, like all other Chantry zealots. Not really. They don't teach you how to fight in the cloister, do they? You know, a beautiful, charming woman like yourself. Ah, it's tempting, but I feel like that's pretty fucking direct. They don't teach you how to fight in the cloister. Did you think I was always a cloistered sister? The Chantry provides succor and safe harbor to all who seek it. I chose to stay and become affirmed. What did you do before that? I was a traveling minstrel in Orlais. Tales and songs were my life. I performed, and they rewarded me with applause and coin. And my skill in battle? Well, you pick up different skills when you travel, yes? Yes, of course. Um, let's move on. 
A little uncomfortable. Probably should have flirted. Noted. Take that for next time. Win. how you doing today? Oh, it's been a long day. Rest. Rest would be welcome. Are you alright? It was quite the adventure we had. Yes, yes, of course. I am just a little weary. As you may have noticed, I'm no spring chicken. <laughs> no, you're a person. You're very... there's still some life left in those old bones, I bet. Thank you. You're very kind to say so. But in all honesty, I do not know how many years I have left in me. I have lived for such a long time. But there is always something else to do. And I have to keep going in order to do it. I think I will be glad when I am done. Well, damn. Not allowed to be done quite yet. Oh, no. I'm not the sort of person that leaves things unfinished. I'll see this through, I promise. Wynne is another kind of surprisingly good character, kind of like Sten who floats in the background a little bit, but when you pay attention to their character and their story arc and just how unusual they are as far as a companion in an RPG in general, I think she really stands out as a, a really likable companion, especially after you've done your first playthrough and you're enamored with Alistair and the Leona and Morrigan. It's, it's interesting to get to know them more. The Circle of Magi stands ready to assist, Grey Warden, as do the Templars of the Chantry. Do you need anything? There are always areas to improve on, Grey Warden. The most useful for my talents are runes. Good to know, good to know. Allied supply crates, a communal box, resources you've collected for your troops. Turn in runes to the Circle gonna give you my journeyman runes. Not my expert ones. I'm not that crazy. You are wise to invest in the effectiveness of your followers. Thank you. I I always forget to do that shit. And then Morgan, the ever so lonesome over here. What do you wish of me? Let's uh, talk. If you must. Have you ever been hunted by the Chantry? My mother has been hunted from time to time, yes. By Templar fools like Alistair, which should tell you how successful they generally were. Flemeth made a bit of a game of it, in fact. The Templars would come again, and she would look at me and smile and say that the fun was to begin once more. <laughs> really had no trouble with them. I am unsure. I was too young to understand, and perhaps it was bravado on Flemeth's part, or perhaps she was merely amused. I will never know. Flemeth would warn them once. It was a warning they inevitably failed to heed. And then the true game began. Often Flemeth would use me as bait, <laughs> a little girl to scream and run and lure the Templars deeper into the wilds and to their doom. Flemeth used you as bait. It was a game, and I a young girl. If I didn't get to play, I would have been very upset. Thankfully, the wilds is a vast place. Once they found us, Flemeth would simply move us elsewhere, and we would be lost within the forest once again. I did not understand the danger we faced until I was much older. I had never heard of apostates or maleficarum. You still think that was fun? I think that my mother made it fun so that a child did not learn to fear. And I think that it was necessary. There are no trials for apostates, no prisons, no mercy. There are only absolutes, so only survival matters. If the wilds have taught me anything, tis this. First, you must survive. Do you disagree? I agree. <laughs> an enlightened view, or at least an agreeable one. Enough of this talk, let us return to the task at hand. It brings a good question, actually, and part of why like, I was okay with losing approval from Sten at the Mage's Tower, and also okay with not bringing Morrigan, is in general, I always find that in RPGs I'm like, I know 
that companions kind of want to hear a certain thing, right? And we have a bunch of choices to choose from, and it's really easy to just kind of play the game of get approval from everybody as much as possible. But I feel like that always detracts from like my character, like what does she believe and who does she get along with the best, right? And I think I feel like my character would get along with Sten eventually, but he's hard um, and cold. And so it makes sense that we would butt heads a little bit because I'm not going to back down from my ideas. Also makes sense that Morgan's not going to go to the circle of Magi with me because she would realistically, if this wasn't a video game and she wasn't just a companion in my party, would probably be killed. So, yeah. I do agree, though. Morrigan living in the wilds, being hunted, survival is what matters. More importantly, we've got a rune, and I would like it to get enchanted. Enchantment? Enchantment. Enchantment! <laughs> so we just got the Beastman's Dagger, and we've got an expert Dwayne rune. And it's going right in there. I foolishly donated all other runes, so that's all we have. We've pretty much talked to everybody. We didn't really talk to Sten, but he approached us at the beginning, so I feel like that's everything for right now. I like to go back to the camp to kind of check in often, so it's not going to be too long before we see them again. Now, we traveled with Alistair, Wynn, and Sten last time, so I would love to get Morrigan Indeed. and Liliana Indeed. some time. And I mean, I gotta bring my boy. Plus, we... Yes. We need a warrior with us at all times. So, here we go. All right, so we are in Lake Callanhad right now. We just did the Circle Tower, the docks are done. Ban Lauren's lands are right here. And I feel like how I like to play this game as well is it's like wherever we travel, I like it to make sense, you know? Um, so I don't see how we could miss Ban Lauren's lands if we were traveling really anywhere north. If we were going south, like maybe to Redcliffe Village, I could see us missing it. But I think we should maybe look at doing some of the DLC and going to Soldier's Peaks. Or we could try the Brazilian outskirts. It's a tough call. But either way, I feel like it's hard to miss Ban Lauren's land. So we're going to go there first. I bring word, sire. There are demands from the Banorn that you step down from the Regency. They are said to be gathering their forces, as are your allies. It appears it will be civil war after all, despite the Darkspawn. Pity. I also have an interesting report. There seem to be Grey Wardens who survived Ostagar. How, I don't know but they will act against you. I have arranged for a, a solution, with your leave. The Antivan Crows send their regards. An assassin? Against Grey Wardens, we will need the very best. <laughs> <laughs> and the most expensive. Just get it done. Not looking too good for our warden. Or for that assassin. Who is cute. But that's irrelevant. So we see a bunch of people. We can take a closer look at the unarmed man. Closer look at the guards or join the fray. I'm gonna look at the man. You're surprised to recognize the uniform of King Caitlin's honor guard. Memory comes to you. You fought alongside this man at Ostagar. What about the guards? The guards were the uniform of Banorin, a minor lord and well known and little loved for the fluidity of his allegiances. We gotta join the fray. The guards. Oh no! Yeah, I'm gonna kill these guys. I said something on the low. I, I don't know how to get down there. This should be easy enough. 
It's either you or me, and it isn't gonna be me. On it. Let's get started. On it. This should be easy enough. You both are happy. Show me what you've got. Oof. Combo right there. Alright, Alistair, be careful. Don't get yourself killed. Nice. Guards have been dealt with. Up close, the man's face is unmistakable. You remember him as Elric Marang? Marang? Elric Marang. A member of Kaelin's honor guard at Ostagar, and a close confidant of the king. Oh shit, he's alive. Thank you. I, I didn't expect the band's men to notice my escape so quickly. I tried to hide here in the woods, but there wasn't time. And now I'm a dead man. What do you mean there wasn't time? You were there in Ostago. You know how things went. For me, it was either this or die in some dark spawn's belly or, or be hung as a deserter. Yes, I recognize your face. You were there with the Grey Wardens, one of Duncan's new recruits. I was to guard the King. He was my friend, understand? Maker. All that time in Ban Loren's prison. And I couldn't stop thinking about all they suffered that one dark night at Ostagar. We don't always get to choose our deaths. No, perhaps not. But I've been given the chance to set things right. If it's the likes of you who sees me to my final hour, perhaps things happen for a reason. The King entrusted me with the key to the Royal Arms chest. If anything were to happen to him, he said, it was vital I deliver it to the Wardens. You still have the key? The Maker has a sense of humor, doesn't he? I suppose it's for the best, however. Had I kept it, it would be in Ban Loren's hands by now. Why am I not surprised? Is there someone else we should be bringing back from the brink of death instead? I was afraid. I thought I would lose it on the battlefield, so I stashed it in the camp. Please, it's probably still there. Where? The key's behind a loose stone at the base of a statue. I'll draw a map for you, so you'll know where to search. You'll be taking me along, won't you? And win as well, I suspect. Call me sentimental, but we left behind some darkspawn that really deserve a drubbing. It is vital that the King's documents do not fall into the wrong hands. As for Marek's sword, it is too powerful to be poured at by those monsters. Same for the King's other arms and armor. And... And if you happen to find Caelan's body, see it off. He was our king. He shouldn't be left to rot amidst the Darkspawn's filth. <laughs> well, Elric, you did good. I don't think there's any bodies to loot. Hey, one. More importantly, got some elf fruit. Oh yeah. That's the good stuff. Also gotta actually level up. Next time I go back to camp, like for real, for real, I'll actually like look at all of our people. <laughs> but Morgan and Liliana were not with us for that last big module, so they have some leveling to do for sure. Morgan, I don't know if she has heal as even an option. Oh, she does, and I'm gonna give it to her because we, anytime we got a mage in the party, we need some healing going on. Liliana, gonna throw into Dexterity, Cunning, and one into Con, just so she's less squishy. I really never understood stealing at all in this game, and I'm not gonna try now. So I'm gonna do some combat training, um, and maybe Critical Shot. Because Liliana is an archer for us. Cinderfell gauntlets. Oh, that's not bad. We'll switch those up for Morrigan. That's kind of all she has to switch to. And then I'm going to give Liliana these leather gloves. Just because she primarily does light armor. Liliana can also take one of these belts. Creationist cord or buckle of the winds. I'm going to do the creationist cord. 
All right, well, that was a quick jaunt, but now we know that there's some stuff still remaining at Ostagar. So we could definitely go there in the near future. I'm trying to figure out what is the best thing to do next. I feel like we're around Lake Kalanhad. So we've got half a mind to come down to Sulcher's Pass on our way to Redcliffe Village, just because we know that just because we know that Alistair's uncle's waiting down there. Alternatively, we could go up north to Soldier's Peak and then head down to the Brazilian outskirts, but I don't know. I don't know if we would really do that yet, narratively speaking. I also know we get a companion if we go to Soldier's Pass, and I like getting companions. So I think we're going to go and head down up this little top path down through Lake Kalanhad, past Orzammar, to the Soldier's Pass. Oh, looks like we've been stopped. Oh, thank the Maker. We need help. They attacked the wagon. Please help us. Follow me. I'll take you to them. Seems suspicious. Very suspicious. Oh, super suspicious. Hey. Oh, that wasn't a wave. I see. You're just going to attack us. Gotcha. The Grey Warden dies here! Oh, goddamn. Warden sense is tingling. And I'm stunned. Victory shall be mine. Let us end this. Not good. I'm gonna sign heal really quick. So that Morrigan can heal our guy really quick. Dang. I am ready. Ooh, nice sweep. I love this game. Sometimes. Oh no, we're losing him. As you wish. I was not prepared for this fight. Good job, Morgan. I'm glad you're done. Where's the other guy? All the way up there. Yeah, I can't get up there that way. You know what? Morgan can actually just attack him from a distance. That sounds good to me. Alistair's just getting caught in a shit ton of traps. Nice. The Elven Assassin is wounded and unconscious, but alive. You could tie him up and talk to him if you wished. Or I could just kill him now. But now I'm gonna wake him up and talk to him. Mmm. Oh, what? I... Oh. Oh, I rather thought I would wake up dead. Or not wake up at all, as the case may be. But I see you haven't killed me yet. Hmm. I have some questions. Ah, so I am to be interrogated. Let me save you some time. My name is Zevran. Zev to my friends. I am a member of the Antivan Crows, brought here for the sole purpose of slaying any surviving Grey Wardens, which I have failed at, sadly. True. I'm rather happy you failed. So would I be in your shoes. For me, however, it sets a rather poor precedent, doesn't it? Getting captured by a target seems a tad detrimental to one's budding assassin career. That is true. Why are you telling me all this? 
<laughs> Why not? I wasn't paid for silence. Not that I offered it for sale, precisely. Aren't you at least loyal to your employers? Loyalty is an interesting concept. If you wish, and you're done interrogating me, we can discuss it further. I'm listening. Well, here's the thing. I failed to kill you, so my life is forfeit. That's how it works. If you don't kill me, the crows will. Thing is, I like living. And you obviously are the sort to give the crows pause. So let me serve you instead. Ooh. A companion, you say? You know, I was just on the road on my way to get a companion from a circle tower where I got a companion. Feeling like this part of the game is just me getting companions, and I'm kind of happy about that. What's to stop you from finishing the job later, though? To be completely honest, I was never given much of a choice regarding joining the Crows. They bought me on the slave market when I was a child. I think I paid my worth back to them plus tenfold. The only way out, however, is to sign up with someone they can't touch. Even if I did kill you now, they might just kill me on principle for failing the first time. Honestly, I'd rather take my chances with you. Charming and presents decent reasoning. Why would I want your service, though? Why? Because I am skilled at many things, from fighting to stealth and picking locks. I could also warn you should the Antivan Crows attempt something more sophisticated now that my attempts have failed. I could also stand around and look pretty if you prefer. Warm your bed. Fend off unwanted suitors, no? Oof. Hmm. Is this before or after you stab me in the back? Um, bed warming might be nice, though. And I should have flirted with Liliana earlier, and I didn't. It's tempting. See? I knew we could find a common interest. Or two. Or three. Really, I can go all night. So, what shall it be? I'll even shine armor. You won't find a better deal, I promise. Hmm. What would you want in return? Well, let's see. Being allowed to live would be nice, and would make me marginally more useful to you. And somewhere down the line, if you should decide that you no longer have need of me, then I go on my way. Until then, I am yours. Is that fair? Can I expect the same amount of loyalty from you? I happen to be a very loyal person. Up until the point where someone expects me to die for failing, that's not a fault, really, is it? I mean, unless you're the sort who would do the same thing, in which case I don't come very well recommended, I suppose. Well, I've let you sit in this grass talking to me for a very long time, and I'm going to refuse. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm going to accept. Welcome to the team. What? You're taking the assassin Hell with yeah. us now? Does that really seem like a good idea? Yeah. Um, hmm. I could try and persuade. Don't worry about it. We could use them. We could apparently use a swift kick in the head too, but you don't see me going around asking for My one. My persuade sucks. A fine plan. But I would examine your food and drink far more closely from now on, were I you. That's fair. That's excellent advice for anyone. Welcome, Zivran. Having an Antivan crow join us sounds like a fine plan. Oh, you are another companion to be then? I wasn't aware such loveliness existed amongst adventurers, surely. Or maybe not. <laughs> I hereby pledge my oath of loyalty to you until such a time as you choose to release me from it. I am your man, without reservation. This I swear. Well, goddamn. We just got another companion and talk about a way to end another episode. Our companion list is growing. Not too long ago, we did not have Wynn, and now we have Zevran. Who else will we get next time?